Check out the garage door. Ta-da! Bit of man door too. The box. Nice casing. And wood stove. Got to keep the motorcycles warm. That's going to go there. And here's our front wall. Even a threshold. Same key from Wiser. You can key all your keys the same, which is awesome. You just have to have one key, and it's the same as the house. Flashings and casings. Sunday. Nice balmy morning. It's one day before Halloween or two. Two. Yeah. And look, beautiful sunny day. Unless you have a toque. major accomplishment for us, hooking up the power. So anyway, in our power shed, there's a 200 amp breaker panel, mostly empty, you can see. We have a couple things on it, like the well and the camper. And now, 100 amp feed to the house. So this is what number one aught cable looks like. Pretty heavy duty stuff. And it's going around 130 feet to the house. So this is the supply side and we'll show you it all hooked up on the other end. Oh, this is how you pull your wire. Hi, hi, hi! Comic relief. We'll tie it up down there. Wasn't much cable left over, so very good estimating. Look, that was the only cable left over. This is the sub panel for the house 100 amps. 100 amps. Just got it hooked up with some super serious cable. And let's flick, let's flick the breaker. Oh. We got some serious amount of uh, wattage now. I only put one breaker in just to run the house stuff. And this is proof that it works. Oh. Nice heater. Welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the bell. Okay, we're doing a hearth for our wood stove because it's getting chilly out. We'll show you a pan of the chimney. We installed that a couple weeks back. It's got a T here. So you can pull this and run your chimney brush up. And you don't have to go on the roof. Anyway, we're doing a hearth today with plywood underlayment, tiles, amica rustica, and black slate border, because why not? So here we go. Take your wood glue. Make sure you have good sound effects. 
First you mark out your rectangle. Now, by the way, hearse in Canada need eight inches on the sides and 18 on the front. So we went an extra couple, an extra couple. Use a liberal amount of glue for good sticking. with cement board or sheet metal but we want this to be a nice hearth and nice tiles Best way to do tiles is to back clutter them. That way you have adhesion to the tile and adhesion to the floor. And you're simply mating those two grouts together.
Again, here's the fireplace hearth. All nicely grouted in with mortar. Go figure that out. Laid and grouted in one step. Can't wait to get the wood stove in. Next step, on there. First fire, 